Welcome to Let's Get On With It Myth 2 Soul Blighter, part of the Rewarding the Rewarders 2012 opportunity. This is a real-time tactics computer game developed by Bungie in 1998. The sequel to Myth the Fallen Lords, and I will be playing it blind, as Tiny Shopkeeper requested. I am running Project Magma's version 1.8 patch for increased performance and stability. A link will be provided in the video description. Anyway, let's get started. I'm actually going to go ahead and do the tutorial. Because, as I said, playing it blind. So you can learn the game with me together, folks. If you're familiar with the game, really, I suggest not watching. It might be painful. Alright, at the beginning of each level, this box will contain information what you need to do to complete the scenario. In the tutorial, you just need to follow the usually patient tutor's instructions, experiment with your units, and have fun. Play the tutorial, familiarize yourself with camera controls. So you'll find let hints to specific to each level. We're going to stick all this place to look. Okay! Welcome to Myth 2. Soul Blighter. Thank you. Do what you're told, and you might live to tell about it. Good. Camera control is important for playing Myth 2. I imagine so. Use the W and S keys to move forward and backward. All right. Yes, that's very good. Oh. I'm not doing what I'm told, everyone. Sorry. Use the Q and E keys to orbit with your camera. Okay. Yes, that's orbiting. <laughs> Thank you, game. Now, let's try rotating. Use the A and D keys to rotate. All right, I can exactly. do that. Exactly. That's rotating. Hooray! Panning is moving to the left and right. Use the Z and X to pan left and right. All right, I think I'm doing that. Great. Thank you. The C key zooms you close to the oh. action, while the V key zooms you Good out. Good job. I see. Righto. This is your warrior. Select him and hit the space bar to stop. That's Since it. The end of the great war, the of the kind of Move your warrior to the stool by clicking on the ground near the stool. Ah, left clicking. All right. Yes, right here. Yes. <laughs> this guy is pretty, pretty. Now click on the pumpkin-headed target to attack. Pretty energetic and excited for me. Very encouraging, I must admit. Alice, the warrior. Yeah, right. Woo! That's a dead dummy. <laughs> All right. Spring break. What else, game? These three warriors are yours. Select them and attack those target dummies. Edme, Edgar, and Conlon? I appear to have people watching me. Oh, sorry. Get to work. Yeah! Very good. This is the best game ever. Formations are essential for skillful gameplay. No, that's not me. Select all of your warriors. Press the three key, loose line formation, Suppose that's and click bad. on the ground. We're moving. All right, go ahead and form a loose line, everyone. Mighty warriors. Now what? Yes, that is the loose line formation. Well, that's good. I know how to interpret instructions. Now try the vanguard formation. Select your warriors, then hit nine and click Three, on four, the ground. Three, four, five, six, seven. Hmm. No, it's that formation. Okay. Apparently, that's the number nine. Excellent. I won't argue with that. This is a bowman. Select him and click on the target dummy. All right. Pew pew. My game resolution's pretty small, folks. I've chosen to play in a windowed mode. And I decided to make it a 640x480 well window. So consequently, things will probably seem Notice more compact than what you can make them. Your status bar. Uh, Select your bowman, hit the T key, and click on the target dummy. Ah, that's the flaming arrow. I can zoom out? That doesn't exactly help my vision. Can I make you disappear? Probably. I'll just need to learn how to do that. <laughs> ah. Now I see. that's a fire. I'm sure it is. The journeyman sure is. has a special ability to heal units. Does he? Select the journeyman, hit T, and click on the warrior to heal him. Righto. Six motion bloody jaguar. 
Interesting name. Aww. Excellent. Okay, that's a special ability ticker. This you can activate by T. Dwarves like to blow things up. All right. Select your dwarf and click on the target dummies to blow them up. Dory the dwarf. Well, how about that, everyone? Yes, that's the way. <laughs> We're learning together. Good, 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 good. The dwarf also has the special ability to place satchel charges. Does he now? Move the dwarf close to the target. Will do. Da, 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 da. Now hit T to place a satchel charge. Got it. Do I run away now? Now control click on the ground near the charge to blow it up. Boom! <laughs> That'll teach him. <laughs> a warlock is a magical unit with the ability to project fireballs. All right. Select your warlock and click on the target dummy. Oh, I see there's a mana meter right there, too. Isn't magic fun? Oh, absolutely. I concur. Here we go. Now you'll have a chance to try experimenting with your units. All right. When you wish to leave the tutorial, move any of your units near the windmill. Windmill, windmill, windmill. Windmill? Windmill. Okay. So we have our warrior here. That reviews that. Those are our options. Got it. Scatter retreat special. Ah, okay. We use the T key to activate the special feature. It sets the dummy on fire. Dwarf here has a ranged attack, which he, you activate by clicking. The journeyman probably has a melee attack of sorts. Okay. You do as well, I assume. Melee attack. Yes, sir. Dwarf, range attack, and Warlock, range attack. Alright, too used to using the arrow keys to scroll around in a combat situation. Good to learn this. Okay. Well. Those are just spectators. All of you can go together. Can I control group? Oh no, I control group and that ends up creating the situation where uh, I'm cycling between different formations. I see. You finished the tutorial. Good job. <laughs> game, game is too, too exciting for me everyone. I don't think I'll be able to handle this. Alright, new game. You can play on normal difficulty. You can start with Willow Creek. Guys, that's the first mission. We have a few missions to go. Timid difficulty. Simple. Heroic. Legendary. But normal is fine. I'm not gonna mess with any of these options. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go! Monday, August 25th, near Willow Creek. Finally, a break from this incessant marching. We have been on the move since first light and the men are becoming weary from the difficult trek through these dense woods. Kruniak, our commander, insists we keep these pauses to a minimum if we are to reach the town of Willow Creek before midday. It was only yesterday that we entered the town of Tallow, seeking rest after a month spent patrolling the southern regions of the Wild River. But our respite was cut short when the mayor beseeched us to investigate reports of grave robbing around the villages just north of Forest Heart. Kruniak, who seems to be more interested in political maneuvers than military ones, agreed to look into the matter. I am sure it will prove to be yet another unfounded rumor, no doubt caused by wild dogs searching for their evening meal in the newly turned earth of a graveyard. Alas, that is the life of a soldier these days, chasing hoodlums and thieves and making sure the nobility get their due. I have only a few moments before I must go. 
columns of black smoke have been spotted rising above the woods between us and Willow Creek. Our commander is rallying the troops for the final leg of our morning journey. Alright, Kruniak. Let us go disperse with people. The villagers of Willow Creek is... Excuse me. The village of Willow Creek is under attack. Destroy all the attackers and secure the center of town. For the tutorial to familiarize yourself with the camera controls, you can stop your warriors from charging to give your bowmen more time to shoot. Hit the space bar to stop them. Okay. Next up. A single warrior will have a hard time against the gas. It's safer to take out gas from a distance. Got it. Oh. Nope. I can stop you. I'll keep that in mind. That's just a villager. We won't have to kill him. Let's go ahead and... I suppose that's as far as we can zoom out. That's as far as we can zoom out. What's the situation here? Is there a Posky? There might be. Should have probably looked up a list of controls. Before I decided to play the game. Didn't help that I didn't even read the instruction manual either. That's, uh, that's Grimmeth being naughty. I suppose you could say. I usually read instruction manuals, but I decided to see just how intuitive the game is, I reckon. So these are the gas, I suppose. We're going to have to chase them down. Preferably before they destroy the town. Go! And I imagine there's probably friendly fire too. That would make sense, wouldn't it? Uh, a game of this sort. Yep. Okay. Glad I know that now, everyone. Uh, Alright. Let us continue running into town then. See if I can rescue people. Alright. We have some more enemies up there. By the looks of things. Let us pursue them. It. Individually. Oh dear. The enemies appear to have an interesting ghastly effect. Uh-oh. Nope. Run away! There we go. Run, little villager, run! Well, they can all get home safe. We can all get home safe, perhaps. Get over here. Ah, yeah, the ghast appears to have an effect, such as within Dungeons & Dragons. Gas and ghouls, really. But gas, more so, can paralyze their targets. Almost makes sense, in a way. Oh. We are not in any sort of form or formation at all. Perhaps I should try to do something about that. Run, little buddy! Stay away. Run! Nope. That sounds like a personal problem. Can we get him? We might have to apply our ingenuity here. By ingenuity, I mean we got it. Tag him. Get him. There we go. Oh, there we go. Done and done. Next. 
you know, just trying to preserve the lives of my men in this first mission. Because cause I'm a caring commander. And they matter deeply to me. Hmm, that wall is, uh, fucking with us there. Not pleasant sounds. Nope. Let's go. Take out this group. Mob them! Oh, get back now. Don't need to get that far ahead. I know, riveting and exciting commentary brought to you by Grimoth. I'm busy trying to learn the game here. I told you it'd be a bad idea for you to watch this. <laughs> but you didn't listen! Oh! Man, little dwarf, you, uh, you pack quite a punch. I'm rather chuffed by you. I uh, imagine that these undead might also turn villagers into more undead. Gill counter, perhaps? Gill counter. Well... Not everyone here has a kill. That's fine. Let's go. Can I waypoint? I don't know. Alright. You head on over there. You little guys can head on this way, perhaps? Trying to save the lives of my men here. Go, little dwarf! Fuck him up! Oh, dwarf! No! You fool! Assist! Ah. Uh, unfortunately, these melee guys don't really seem to pursue on their own. Well, I did tell them to stop. Perhaps that means not do anything. Example, these guys. Get back. All right, let's let him come to us. A guy still paralyzed. Oh, he's been paralyzed again. That guy is not having a good day. No. Gotta get him back alive to his family. Must get him alive to his family. It's the only way. Oh, we got more attackers approaching from that direction. Oh, goodness. I thought you said this was normal difficulty. I don't suppose you guys run automatically, do you? Like the dwarf is. Let's make sure. Who's next? Alright. There we go. The warriors were on stop, so obviously they, they were just choosing to hold their ground. Not exactly the most exciting series of events I'm witnessing here, though, but regardless, appears we've done a pretty good job of... of emptying most of the town. We've got... many more enemies to go, I assume, though. We've only scrolled part way through the town and just had to deal with a bunch of gas there. Oh, the map looks like it's clear for the most part now. Nope. A challenger approaches. What do we got here? Let's get him. And if we end up killing the innocent people of 
the city. Or the village, rather. That sounds like a personal problem. Let's be honest. Quit bitching! Look, we're here to help, okay? We're here because we care about you. Trust me. We're trained professionals. Hmm. We have another gas approaching. More gas, by the looks of things. That's fine. Okay. Little dwarf there is a fucking amazing. Help! Shut up! I'll help you when I'm damn good, well, and ready. There we go. Not exactly the best place for the archers, in retrospect. I've had better ideas. Incoming. Hmm. Run! Oh, there you go. Never mind, you did it. Oh, we got another one. By another one, I really mean four more. Take your positions. Excuse me. Follow back there to assist. Real-time tactics game. Myth 2 Soul Blighter. Trying to save some people in a village. Hmm. Seems like some of those might actually end up being duds from time to time. Or he just misfires, perhaps? Assist! There we go. Yay! Celebration! Spring break. Twelve survivors! Didn't lose a single unit. Rather... We've inflicted quite a bit of damage. Of course, the bowmen ended up getting the most, but the fewest kills. The dwarf had the most kills simply due to the fact that he tended to one-shot enemies. And the warriors, they did quite alright. Battle survived, and the heroes... We have some heroes who distinguished themselves there. Certainly the Airy the Dwarf. And, uh, looks like 63 kills. No casualties. Woohoo! Well, I think that takes care of this first video. I need to test to see whether I, my recording settings are adequate. Join me next time, where we continue playing. Hooray!